Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and in this video we have some monster news to talk about. From our first look at the upcoming G3 Fearbook dolls, Ultimate Secrets Series 4 Ballet Claudine has been revealed, the finalized version of G3 Spectra and more so stay tuned and let's get into it. Starting off, yes, we finally have our first look at Ultimate Secrets Series 4 Claudine. That means that now we've seen all four of them and they look amazing. So Claudine is decked out in purple of course and um she has like full on purple hair um the bodysuit is obviously like very animal print and her her skirt her bottom piece um first i thought it was like a like a like a half skirt because it's like open in the in the front but then i realized it's probably like a a pair of shorts in black that are attached to you know like that overskirt is attached to the pair of shorts because the bodysuit underneath you you would see the print if it if it really was just like the little you know half skirt piece alone uh, so that's why i think there's like a pair of shorts attached which is like interesting like she's the only one out of the four that has like a different type of skirt piece but i think it looks really fun um definitely like giving um i love the little braids um in the front that looks really fun i just i feel like all the the purple it's like a little bit mm, a little bit much <laughs> and we know with claudine you know it's usually poly with purple hair um and that really sucks. And speaking of Polly, um, I forgot to mention this in my last video, but um, I think it's safe to say that all four of these ghouls will unfortunately have Polly hair. Now, that depends what type of Polly quality hair. It could be worse. It could be better Polly hair. So we have yet to know but um i mean yeah it, the colors are just they look like poly so i think it's safe to say that it's it's very likely poly poly pro what's the full name <laughs> i don't know but uh it's poly um unfortunately but they still look at least the pieces and design are like amazing like they're really strong in my opinion i think like the pop star look is really cute the ballet look is really cute the packaging is like switched up we have the lockers you can actually like hang up the clothing pieces you can like slide up the doll like the whole reveal gimmick and the whole piece like all of it i feel like it it feels more engaging to me and um the thematic here the the, the themes here right it just feels more uh thought out and just like it, i don't know it just feels like more cohesive and like really really fun and really fun and cute so honestly like this series i i will probably get and uh, probably also it's better that there's only four to collect here because yeah these these boxes will take up so much space they're so bulky but like at the same time now they're actually usable like with clothing like you with a closet spaces right you can hang up the you know like with the little hangers and stuff like you can actually use the boxes now so like you're probably not gonna get rid of get rid of them so um that just means that yeah they're gonna take up take up space <laughs> But whatever. Next up, we finally have our first look at the new Fear Book dolls that include Twyla, Torlai, and Draculaura. Um, and wow, they look really, really good as well. Um, Torlai, I mean, right away, you can tell Torlai is stealing the show. She looks the best out of all three of them. I mean, Draculaura is like really cute, but like, mm, you know. So, anyways, starting off with Twyla, um, she, her theme here is like, I guess, board games. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I thought it was like books, but I think it's like board games so i don't know but um yeah i think her outfit's really cute it's like a little baby dress baby doll dress like so cute um the jacket also like really fun um the shoes are like really chunky the hairstyle is like really cute um and i feel like for a lot of people this will be like their like their official version of core twyla's look like because like creepover party um for many people like that doll didn't really scream a core look um but this one i feel like is gonna is gonna be more attractive to people because it's more of like a casual look. It's not as like a snuggly, cozy, like of an outfit, I guess. Um, still, I think she's really cute and I don't have a Twyla yet. So I guess I'll have to decide which one I'm gonna get. <laughs> Next we have Twyla and like I mentioned, yeah, she just really commands the attention. You know, like she really steals the spotlight for me. She looks amazing with this like matching two piece, the the shoulder, the, 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 the spiky shoulders, like what a, what a statement piece, right? The 
print um the second jacket that she has also really cute but i definitely prefer like the matching look here the tights the purple boots um she even comes with her little like tail uh instrument right to play music like was so fun <laughs> the bob for many people this is like the really big thing her bob is like with a center part it's not like a side part or anything like it's, it's a middle part like you usually toralize bob is like with a side part but um it's different here it looks really fun i do wonder like how it'll translate to you know mass produced versions of her like in a box will the bob be like intact or will it be gelled to the heavens um we'll see um the purple streak is like really fun i kind of wish the the boots would have been um like orange and would have had accents of purple and not like be fully purple just purple uh i feel like the purple is like too much uh but at the same time i don't completely hate it so eh, you know I, I still think she's like the best one out of the bunch and look at this i just realized that torla here is twinning so hard and perfectly with uh coffee break frankie who came with a t in a two-pack with deuce remember uh they look identical like they look like they're twinning like they're matching like <laughs> this is so perfect they look beautiful oh my gosh i need both of them now like what <laughs> yeah i mean just look at the jacket same exact silhouette the spiky shoulders the shorts they're both wearing shorts the high boots the pops of vibrant colors right it just like they look so similar and i i love it it's like they, they did this on purpose like they're like oh my god yay they're twinning and lastly of course we have dark laura now surprisingly um she to me feels the weakest um i feel like they just stuck her in here because it's dracula laura it's a safe bet that people will probably buy her just because it's you know dracula laura um but i feel like they yeah it kind of shows that they really didn't put a lot of effort into her design a lot of her pieces are reused like for instance these shoes i think are not a new mold they're probably just recolors the beret for sure is not a new mold that is the uh, exact same piece that they use for school to meet secret to series one Dracula Laura's beret uh, piece here is just in black it's still cute but like it's not a new piece um, and then the outfit that she's wearing seems to be a new design but I feel like I've seen a print somewhere else and the like the fabric that they use for the black jacket to me looks very flimsy like it's it's very thin um, but I think it's she's still very cute like I saw someone say that she's giving Disney Channel vibes and like I totally see that like I I do like the the beret and like the black accents with the jacket jacket and then the two-piece outfit with the, with the matching print um the shoes i don't love i yeah i think she's fine like she's she's fine like she's cute she's not like amazing but like she's not atrocious you know what i mean like she's she's fine and like she's supposed to be like the director so of course she's looking a little more more like um you know like professional i guess with like the black accents like i feel like that does really look fun and like the beret is like such a cliche but like it works um so yeah i think she's fine but like definitely lacking a little bit so yeah overall i would say i'm pleasantly surprised and i will probably be getting for sure torlai just because i want to match her up with uh frankie they 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 just they look perfect they really do they, they're matching perfectly together so i'm gonna have to get frankie from a two-pack as well unfortunately <laughs> but I mean, they just look they look identical right so um yeah i think twilight is the strongest one here then twyla and then dracula unfortunately but yeah i think it's a really strong theme and i i definitely think that they might do a second series with other characters and i think that's going to be very exciting now unfortunately it seems that the fear book dolls and ss for claudine will be target exclusives in the united states um and welcoming com welcome committee frankie was also supposed to be a target exclusive at one point but it seems that they are now a amazon exclusive um now what does this mean for international fans i think like with previous store exclusives they will become sooner or later available in local toy stores like smith's toys etc or at the very least they will become available on amazon websites um so i hope that that happens and i do i i really do hope that they will become available like in smith's toys and like actual local toy stores because um it's just a different experience to actually find dolls in person moving on yes we finally have the official stock photos for g3 spectra now previously we had seen the you know leaks the prototype um and uh i never thought that she could look different like that much different but here she is and she does look 
significantly different, especially with the face. You can tell that they really um, slimmed down like her cheeks, so you could actually see her cheekbones, and her jawline was like a little bit more sharp. Um, you ju you can just really tell that they really tried to get that uh, feature out of her more prominently, prominently like with the G1 Spectra doll. You know, the cheekbones are just so you know like you know big <laughs> so it's fun that they actually um carry that over here and the face of the lips the screening just seems to be much more um nicely done you know uh the actual outfit seems to be kind of like the same um i don't i don't know if i love the outfit i think it's cute um but i definitely don't prefer it over g1 spectra's core look but like the face the hair the accessories are are really darn cute and like um what's what's the pet's name um Oh my god, what's his name? Uh, Ren? Some, something like that? Like a really cute name? Uh, Ruf, Rufus? I don't know. Oh, mm, I forget. But like the pet? So cute. So cute. Like the expression? I love it. But um, yeah, she looks re very fun and she will be part of the new lineup, uh, part of, you know, alongside with Venus and Caddy to introduce new characters um, in their G3 looks. Uh, g3 core looks this year and hopefully that will mean that we'll get to see jennifer howling and nefra in their g3 core dolls as well next up we have it seems new screenshots here part of this collage that was shared by chef fontana the showrunner for the g3 monster high animated series uh something that she pointed out in a caption specifically is the barking Medes, one of howling's friends in a wear pack and claudine um seems to have a crush on someone or someone has a crush on him so who could it be i wonder you know like is it someone we know or is it like one of those human characters that we saw br briefly in like the one of the last episodes in season one um i wonder and yeah overall of course we're also going to get to see our our other favorite couples return dracula or claude um you know frankie cleo and gil and laguna etc and of course venus is coming here and i think rumors have you know been circulating that maybe venus and um claudine might be an item so let's see but i'm excited finally season two it's been a while next so. we have new listings on mattel creations for future monster high drops including the last off-white collector doll which is a uh, Sym symphony right it's the one with the skull in her in her head sculpt and she looks like the coolest one uh but yeah they cost so much so I haven't gotten one myself. Um, and then, of course, we're also getting at the whole Mattel Creations reveal event later this month. Um, next month? Is it already March? I don't know. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's exciting. So definitely keep an eye out on Mattel Creations for future drops coming um, in March. And yeah, I mean, it seems like there's going to be a lot of stuff coming very soon. So y'all better save up because... Um, it's it's a coming <laughs> and uh, lastly we have the official artwork now shared by darko dark on instagram for the his fits three pack um yeah i mean there's not much to say obviously it is gorgeously done i love the expressions on all three characters here uh but once again i just i really wish that they would have added some like little short bios for you know Melody and persephone on the packaging because i feel like um there are fun characters in this in the series but like otherwise we really don't know that much about them like like hobby wise like little stuff like that that are really that's like really fun to know about characters um like what's their favorite food um hobbies etc you know like I, I feel like we really only know them as an entity with Torlai and the band and it, it would be really fun to see uh to get to know them better as individuals I guess but that was the video I hope you all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and consider becoming a member today to support the channel if you're able to and so you don't miss that when I post more content like this coming your way and keeping you up to date with all the little tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses